You might recognize my next guest uh, as the locator and also a relationship expert bringing families together. Uh, I want to add to the conversation uh, a good friend of mine. Please welcome Troy Dunn. Uh, Troy, come up and join us. Troy, how are you, sir? I'm blessed, friend. And there's been uh, apparently a, a lot of tension between uh, these two about Jarrell leaving the church. That's not made you happy, right? Uh, no, I, it's not a big issue for me, despite really? what they're saying. I'm the only one who is out of it, by the way. Yeah. You're a member of the church, correct? Uh, so, yeah, so, you know, as you know, I am uh, I'm a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. I've been a member 40 years. I'm not an official spokesperson for the church. I understand. Uh, nor do I play one on TV. But I, <laughs> I, I can't help but listen to a lot of this, and... I don't know that necessarily the, the, the church itself is really the issue between the three of you, but I would say to both of you, I see some inconsistencies. I, are, are you an active member of the church? Oh, would I you am, cl definitely. classify yourself sure. active? Oh, sure. So, you grew up in the church? I grew up, yeah. Yeah. So, there's a few principles in the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter day Saints that are completely contrary to the things that I hear. And I'm not here to attack you. Uh, but I also feel like you live in, in a different reality than I do in that, inside that faith system. And I thought maybe I would just remind you of a couple of things that might also bring some peace to you because I sense that your bitterness and your frustration isn't necessarily about the church. It's how desperately he's trying to make you Absolutely. come back into it. Is that I have fair? A lot of, we, I have a so, lot of LDS member friends. So I have eight children, uh, 28 down to six, and seven of them are active members in the church and one is not, very not. Um, love are just the same. Never discuss the church with her. That's just her personal decision. So one of the principles in the, in the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, that we, and I know you can finish some of these sentences for me, I believe, is that we believe in agency, right? Of course, but that, that's not something that I'm denying him or pushing on him. So the concept, of agency, of, that, the concept so. of agency, for those who aren't familiar with it, is that we believe, and we believe that from the beginning of time, that everybody has an opportunity in their life to choose their own path. Period. That's it. There is no but, right? So I, I don't know what the definition of choose your own path is. I would think that probably falls short of abduction, but that's your interpretation. Uh, there's a second rule, and I'll let you finish the sentence, right? It's one of the things we're taught about how to parent our children, which is that we teach them correct principles and then... Let them govern themselves. Let them govern themselves. The third thing that I thought you would be interested in, in being reminded of, so we have a book of scripture that's, that's called the Doctrine and Covenants, and there's a section in there that talks about unrighteous dominion, that you force your will upon somebody else. Sure, sure. I'm not doing that, but you go make that claim. No, I'm not making a claim. Well, I'm asking you. Are, you are doing, doing that, that since we've you've, left you've the church. You've done it ever since you I've have. left. You discredit our relationship with God that we feel that we have and we express to you, oh, it's 100% true quit. It, why are you even here? If you're gonna lie and not take accountability and continue to, to spin and deny, then we're never gonna be able to move Can forward. I you're saying that's just not an issue with you. Correct. My son grew up in the church. He was a member. He fell away from the church. Now, ideally, I would say, you know, in, in a perfect world, that's not such a good thing, and gosh, that's very frustrating. However, he's an adult. He can make these choices. I'm not driving him, despite what they're saying. I'm not coming after him. I'm not trying to get him to come back to the church and say, hey, you've got to be yeah, in the church or else. I, this characterization is just not fair. It's not accurate at all. I do believe in my heart that you love your son. And I'm curious how you feel about your dad. I love my dad. You um, do love your we, dad. We've had so many, I mean, I had good spiritual experiences growing up. I'm yeah. not trying to knock the, the church at all. I just think that he obsesses about getting the black sheep back into the fold. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So much so that, I mean, it caused problems in our relationship because my dad would call for hours and show me all this new information that he found online and so check we, this out. So we're big believers you can't drag anybody into heaven. That's got to be a voluntary walk you make yourself, right? Right? That's kind of a concept Absolutely. we believe people. It's a volunteer even know program. I we're talking about this, to well, be honest with you. I, I'm and not sure either I, because I feel like... The reason I say this is because... This picture they're painting is just not accurate.